British ambassador made a statement on a video that he posted advising all British nationals to leave the country. Um, and yesterday they stopped all flights to Europe. So I am trapped here now. <laughs> Shit. Um, I don't know if it was it's wise for me to have not left the country, but here we go. I am now unofficially an Argentinian resident. This, this place is a really popular cafe that I go to. Um, it's usually packed and there's only three people in there at the moment. So cafes are still open but most people are not going inside. So one thing that was on my shopping list was um, antibacterial gel because I use it to clean my earplugs when I swim. Um, so that was already on my shopping list but the pool's closed now so I don't really need to buy it. Well, I do now but for different reason. So I've just bought this here because this is boasting. Denimos alcohol. We have this because everywhere else is sold out. So every day that I go out, um, there's a slightly new reality to adapt to. So yesterday I had to queue outside the pharmacist because they only let 15 people in at a time. And today, there is a massive queue outside the supermarket. It's just, I just don't know what's going to happen from one day to the next. And that's what's so unsettling. I'm feeling quite scared today. So I just asked the guy on the door and it is, they're limiting the number of people in the, in the shop. Um, so, well, I'm going to find another shop. And oh, the irony, what I actually need is toilet roll. <laughs> so I wasn't expecting that. There's loads of shelves that are empty and it's freaking me out a bit. is the thought that was going through my head was I'm all alone I'm on my own <laughs> I have nobody to protect me and that was like the thought that does it for me <laughs> there was a long process of thinking to get there but which I won't bore you with So I need to just take stock of the situation again, see what it really is, see what I can really handle and get any help that I need if I can't. My friend is late, there's people drinking mate, there's a couple kissing on the bench. 
everything is just normal. I had a good day yesterday because even though my work all finished, um, the woman that runs the business, Alicia, she's so lovely and um, she invited me around for lunch and she was really stressing how we should all be pulling together and you're not going to be alone and you know so I had a great day yesterday I felt really good I thought like I can do this I can totally do this um, so I arranged lunch for today as well um, with another friend um, just to help keep up my morale and keep connecting with people and she cancelled it because she said that um, her and her husband had decided that it wasn't good for her to be going out alone um, that people were really wary of foreigners and there'd been an incident in a shop where this woman had got uh, was quite scared and you know sounded quite angry um, so she she thought I shouldn't be going out on my own either. Well, off I went, like, okay, I'm not going to be deterred by people's fear and anger. I'm just going to, you know, I'm going to do what I need to do. Um, and then I had the meltdown. And I've just come out for the evening to have a walk with a friend. And to get the bus here, the bus driver turned to me when I was sitting in the seat and he asked me where I was from in a kind of suspicious way. So I said I was from England and I reassured him that I was living here. And he asked me, you know, was I traveling? And I told him again, no, I'm, I live here. Um, anyway, he seemed satisfied, but yeah, the suspicion. Um, I'm not sure if I made the right decision to stay. I feel vulnerable is the word. I feel incredibly vulnerable and I'm on my own and you know at times like this I want to be with my family but God the situation's really bad in the UK and we're taking we have more measures here when there's 90 cases than they have in the UK where there's, I don't know, 2,000? I don't know the statistics anyway. Any statistic that I give is out of date in a day. It's just to give some context, some comparison. You know, I'm just gonna have to dig deep. Just gonna have to dig deep. <laughs> Un metro, un metro. Okay, she's saying we have to stay a meter. She's policing us. This girl is policing us. She wouldn't hug me when I arrived. This is unusual that the You're British, the, the British are being told, <laughs> told off by the Argentinians for too much touching. This is for your feet, foot, feet. Gracias. Buenos Aires. Ay, gracias por poner el lau por mí. No te vas a tener otro. Te quiero, Emma. Quiero. And this is the tango feet. Not that we have tango feet anymore. Well, what a lovely evening I've had with friends in the park. And um, God, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. Um, I'm just going to have to stay connected and um, it's going to be okay.